In this video, I show you how you can completely deactivate the Guardian system of the MetaQuest 3. I mean the virtual limit of maximum 15 by 15 meters in order to use infinitely large mixed reality environments. If you haven't seen my review of the Quest 3 yet, you can uh, find it in the info cards now. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo the VR. Thank you to my sponsors, Woodcoast VR, Opperman Events and Virtual Escape. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Voodoo.de If you want to deactivate the Quest 3 Guardian security system, for example, if you want to play a huge area in mixed reality, first activate developer mode. To do this, go to the Meta Developer page that are linked under the video and convert your account to a developer account. Then go to the smartphone app under Menu, Devices, MetaQuest 3, Headset Settings, Developer Settings and activate the Developer Mode. Now install the MetaQuest Developer Hub software on your PC or laptop, which I have also linked under the video. Here you log in with your created developer account and first connect the Quest 3 to your PC via cable. Confirm the connection inside the headset once. In the software you can optionally set the connection via Wi-Fi, which I definitely recommend. To do this, Quest 3 must be on same network as the PC. If the connection worked, you can now remove the cable. However, it may be that um, you have to connect the cable again the next time you start the software and confirm the message inside the headset again. Then you deactivate the boundary option, which is the most important thing. This will immediately turn off the security system completely. Now you can use mixed reality apps without limits. A cool example is the game Blockverse which you can find in the description. With the secure system deactivated, you can now build virtually infinitely large mixed reality Minecraft environments. Or Coaster Mania is also worth a try because now you can build infinitely large roller coasters in your real environment. However, it may be that some mixed reality apps either do not use the previously set up virtual walls and or switch the security system back on when you start the app. In which case you have to switch uh, them off again, unfortunately, each time in the tool. There is no other way at the moment, unfortunately. It is therefore recommended to have a PC or laptop nearby and connect it to the developer hub via Wi-Fi. Guys, but be careful if you deactivate the security system. Be sure to turn the system back on as soon as you switch to a virtual environment. Otherwise, you run through a real wall <laughs> or against the real wall. <laughs> By the way, switching off the Guardian system for mixed reality does not work by switching off the developer option boundaries inside the VR headset because then you can no longer activate the pass-through mode. I'm pretty sure you noticed that already. I hope this tip helped you. It could be very interesting, especially for VR arcades that want to build a huge mixed reality environment. For a cool playlist with mixed reality games for MetaQuest 3, take a look at the info cards. Now, give me a like and a subscription, hit the bell and see you next time in mixed reality. See ya! Who do they eat?